of movie night has become very much a stay-at-home function over the past couple of months, but film fans can make the best of it this summer. Yeah, Indy's Heartland Film Festival is getting ready to open up its box office in a brand new way. And as Brad Brown explains, you'll get to watch it all from your couch. Movie theaters remain closed across the country, but for the staff at Indy's Heartland Film, their show will go on. Some of our friends who run film festivals um, had to go virtual at the last minute, cancel, postpone. So we've been fortunate where our first Shorts Fest, Indie Shorts, is happening in July. So we have some time to plan, but even things change weekly as well. The Indie Shorts Film Festival is keeping its July 21st through 26th dates. The event is moving to a mostly virtual setup with 128 entries being made available on demand online. We're looking at it as an opportunity, you know. In the past, you had to go to a film and you had to go at a set time. You couldn't like go on Saturday and see all the films all at once because they were scheduled throughout the week. So now you can see all the films just at the comfort of your home. You can really plan it out according to your time frame. And I think that's a huge benefit to the public. The festival lineup will include a little something for everyone. From documentaries to family fair, horror thrillers and love stories, plus special spotlights for films made in the Hoosier State. Now that it's digital, um, you know, we were concerned maybe people wouldn't want to play their film on a digital festival. Um, we had a 100% acceptance rate. People were super thrilled and excited. People want to do a live Q&A. Um, they're excited that we're moving forward with an event, and they're excited that they can still connect with people on the other side of the world. The Shorts Fest will be adding another unique element at Tibbs Drive-In Theater, giving fans a chance chance to enjoy several nights of short films under the stars. Movie going is a communal experience. You, you know, we share your laughs, tears, whatever on screen with people too, even if it's a car away <laughs> as well. So yeah, I think people um, want the cinematic experience. This has actually kind of forced us to be smart and giving people um, kind of the market share of what they're looking for. Heartland will be announcing the lineup for the Indie Shorts Festival on June 25th. Tickets for the drive-in events will go on sale then as well. Greg says everything is still on track for the Heartland International Film Festival to open here on October 8th. Many options on the table, though, as to how that event will look when it begins this fall. Movie fans, though, will have plenty to see around here in the months ahead. Working for you, Brad Brown, RTV6.